What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to do a, well this is kind of a weird tutorial, but I recently got a stream deck and the way that my mind thinks, it does work as a MIDI controller as I've seen many times from Logic Pro and other recording DAWs. And I thought to myself, why can't I use it to change effects patches in my guitar programs that I have, like the Neural DSP, Archetype Petrucci, or the Archetype Gojira, or the Parallax. So, today we're going to walk through this process. So let's do this, shall we? So I did get it to work for the Archetype Petrucci, and I'm going to set up just the basic one on the Gojira so you can see how I did it. Um, I used the number of tutorials to kind of figure this out. Um, one being there was a MIDI tutorial on how to set up a MIDI controller um, just for these um, neural DSP plugins like you just use a regular foot controller I mean if you're just if you're looking to play a foot controller is always best because you don't need your hands you can be playing and switch you know channels but um, my MIDI foot controller is really old and doesn't work great it worked I set it up and then it stopped working, so I was like, all right, well in the meantime, I wanna see if I could do it using this, so let's do that, shall we? So I did set up the the John Petrucci archetype right down here. If you click that, I have my presets all set up already, but I click this one to open. So what I did was I set this up as a folder. So let me open the Stream Deck so you can see that as well. And when I go into here, it's set up as a folder. So when I double click on it, it opens the the whole thing I set up so this is the actual open button so when I click this it will open the um, the application so let's do that Boop. and the application will open so don't mind all the ang camera angles I wanted to get this so you can see the stream deck to see exactly how I ha have it set up you can see me sitting here and you can see the computer screen to see exactly what's happening when I press the buttons so I have three recordings happening simultaneously so it's a very complicated project we got going on here but uh anyway so here's the the Petrucci one so so we got sound and I have the alien which you can see right there so what I did basically was just took a basic background and then put text over it I have to fix them because my brain doesn't work too well but the light blue one I wanted to be clean channels which work for the most part so if I want this is the Canada Tuscany one a little hard to read it on camera but there we go so that opens up the Count of Tuscany sound and if I want to switch to pull me under press that button So that works. All right, and then let's see, I have my rhythm channels here. So I can go to um, the Alien again. And then my lead sounds right here. just a tiny bit so yeah that works okay so we see that so let's go back let's exit oh well before I exit let's take a look at what's happening with the MIDI how I set this up so if you go in you can see all my program program change presets and I set them up like this so I realized that I, pro I could have left them all on the same channel um, as you can see I figured it out towards the bottom I just I haven't done it in so long, so I you know I kind of forget exactly how to do it. It's literally been years since I've messed around with MIDI like this, and I just really wanted to find a way to utilize the Stream Deck for just kind of jamming around. I don't have, like I said I don't have my foot pedal right now, so this is just a another option which I thought was kind of cool because I want to make good use out of the Stream Deck. Um, it's a really cool 
toy and very cool to have. I still have to set it up for logic and everything else, but I set up the basic thing of it. I just loaded it with apps that I pro that I never really, I don't even use half of these apps, but I loaded it up because I wanted it to look full. So eventually I'll, I'll have it all loaded up with music apps and things that I, that I use. So to start off, you would go to MIDI. Boop. So if I click that, I have it set up to open up the audio MIDI setup. So if you are on a Mac, you would go into Launchpad, you go into Other, and then you go into Audio MIDI Setup. And then from there, it opens up the window that I just opened right here. It takes you to Audio Devices. So this is not what I want. What I want is, I go up into the menus here. Show me, okay, here we go. Show MIDI Studio, that's what I want. That's what you want. Show MIDI Studio, so it's under, it was under um, Window, I think. Yeah, Show MIDI Studio, now it's Hide MIDI Studio. All right, so the MIDI studio, you wanna double click on the red one. Okay, that is the Stream Deck. It's already plugged in via USB. Um, once you set this up in here, you can set it up to be a controller. So what I did, I followed a tutorial I found on YouTube. Um, they told me to get rid of the device name, so I did. You can follow mine as well. Um, I'll leave a credit to the tutorial I found in the description because I can't remember it off the top of my head right now. It was a couple weeks ago. so. And I remember the ports. You have to set these up. So when you open it up, there are no, I believe there are no ports here if you haven't set up your MIDI before. So I created four ports uh, because I wanted to set it up for logic. That's what I, that's the tor tutorial I originally followed. But I figured once I had it set up as a controller, I could use it for anything that's MIDI controlled. So I set up the Mackie to DAW, and then DAW to Mackie. So one is like an input, and the other one is an output. That's the best way to label it, to remember it that way. So Mackie to DAW, which would be the Stream Deck to the to the DAW, to the re your recording program. And then you're reporting or your recording program back to the Stream Deck. Okay, and then you have the Stream Deck to DAW. That's obviously the Stream Deck, not the Mackie. And then the DAW track to Stream Deck, so. So I have these four, you set them up, you press the plus like this, and then you would double click and change the, the title, right? Which I'm not gonna do because I already did it. Uh, but that's basically what you did. And then you just put these in. Mackie to DAW, DAW to Mackie, Stream Deck to DAW, Track, DAW, DAW Track to Stream Deck. It is cap sensitive, so just take note of as to how I have it here. I don't think I can make this any bigger. So when you're done with that, you click Apply. Boop, it's done. And then you can close the audio MIDI setup. Boop. And you're all good there. Okay, then you go into your neural DSP. All right, you're not going to go to MIDI. You're going to go to settings first. Okay, in settings, you want to make sure down here your MIDI input devices that they show up. Okay, they're all here. Mackie to DAW, DAW to Mackie. But they're all set up. And I also have it connected to my... I have the... Um, Mark of the Unicorn 828ES has my audio interface. So that, that shows up because that's where all the sound comes from. Um, all right, so I got the MIDI. It's there. It shows up. Okay, I close it. I go into MIDI, which is its own MIDI mappings, okay? And the first thing you want to do, these will be blank. You click the plus here. All right, I'm actually going to do, let's do this for the Gojira one. That's what I want to use. I already have the Petrucci one set up. I'll fix it later. I have I have to fix some of them and maybe add some more sounds or whatever. But Okay, so we can get out of that. Let's close it. Boop. I can close the Stream Deck thing too. So I set that up. Same thing with Gojira. I made it a folder. When I click on it, right now, this is all that's there. And the reason why is because I haven't set it up yet. So I just have it like this. So if I click this, boop, it opens the application for me. So, And there it is. All right, and it works. Okay, and there it is. So I have to go in. I'm just going to make sure. Click on there. Okay, everything is in here. We're good. We're good to go. Okay, so now I click on the MIDI. Right here you have the plus. You click plus. It's undefined. You want to change it to program change preset. Okay, now you can set this up for... If you just want to have delay, if you just want to add like reverb, if you want to set it up like they're little pedals, 
you can set up your stream deck that way. Um, I have it like this because I like the presets they have and I just, just to play around with it, um, I'm selecting some of theirs. So I'll leave it on channel one. So for each one you create, you just have to change the note. So the note is like which um, button it's assigned to. Okay, so as I set this up, uh, which one do I like? See, these are all the create, user created ones. Okay, the ones I like to use are down here. So these are the Gojira ones, right? This one's really cool with the uh, octave pedal. So let's, let's throw that one in there. Sick A, boom. So I'll leave it as zero, okay? Now I still have to assign it to one of these buttons here. Um, that, I'm afraid, is the part I forget. So I have to kind of look back into that and remember how I did it. Okay, so I, this is why I have this open. So when I go back to the Petrucci one, let's take a look. What did I do here? Okay, so I set it up in here as a MIDI program change. So I scroll down. So again, it's been a couple of weeks since I set this up. So I, w I meant to make this video when it was more fresh in my memory. I didn't. I apologize. So, all right, let's go back. So I know now I have to do, it's a MIDI program change on here. So let's go back to Gojira. And I can throw that anywhere. So I want to put the rhythm ones here. Um, let's start with MIDI, go down to MIDI program change. So if you have a stream deck, you're going to want to add the MIDI stuff from the store. So not to add another step to this, but I kind of forgot about it. So you just click the stream deck store. It's all free. And then you just type in MIDI, just type in MIDI, boop, 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 boop. And there you go. And this is the one I installed it. So there it is. Okay, if you have, if you use Cubase, that would probably work well for you. Um, you don't need all this. These are just sounds and stuff. So you just need the one. Download this one, and you're good. So, and then it shows up here on the on the side. So I move the program change in. Okay, I'm gonna do this a bunch of times. So I'm just gonna bring a bunch in, and then we'll set them up uh, once we're done. So then you just tell it what note right here that you that you're you know, you're using. So you click the setup button. Um, you make sure it's on the correct input and everything. Again, I'll reference my Petrucci one because that one worked. <laughs> I got that one to work. So I want to make sure I get this one to work too. It's kind of cool. And then you can change the, the picture. You know, I just, well, I did, like I said, I picked um, from here. I just picked one of these color ones down here. These guys right here. Um, you don't need the black border because you're not going to see it on the stream deck because it's the background's kind of black already. So I use this one for clean. I use the black one for heavy, and then I use the gold one for solos. I just just that's just what I picked, so it doesn't matter. So I put that one in there. I can put the title in. Uh, let's just call this one. I'm not going to use the sick one for this. I'm going to use the rhythm JD Rhythm Three. I like that one. So this will be JD Rhythm Three. So what's going to happen is if it's too big, it's not going to fit, click the text box right here and make it smaller. So you just keep going until it fits and then you're good. And you can see it's here. So um, It's on MIDI channel one, which this is what we're on. And the MIDI program change number, which I believe is the note, is zero. So that should work. I can't check it because I think I'm on it now. No, I'm not on it. Okay, so if you look in the background where it says clean... December or whatever that is. I click the button. It does nothing. Probably because I didn't apply it yet. All right, let's just make sure. Hit the setup button. Okay, input. Ah, there we go. So I forget what I have to have it set to. So let's go back to Petrucci. So I'm glad I did this before. Mackie to DAW, MIDI out. There you go. And then the program I set to zero because that was the channel. That was the note. Even though it says acoustic grand piano. That's because in MIDI it's set up that way. Okay, so you want Mackie to DAW, MIDI out. MIDI out, Mackie to DAW. Okay, and I go back. Go into Gojira. And then I click this. Go down. MIDI out. Mackie to Daw. Um, then change this. That should be good. Alright, let's try it. 
Uh, nope, still nothing. Okay. Let's give it a try. We're good, we're good. Alright. Let's add another one. Program change. Preset. We'll go to... Um, let's do that one. Let's throw that one in there. This one should be program change one. Okay, so we have a difference here. So this one is that. Now we'll move this. And we'll call this one sick. Oop. Okay, all right. And that fits there. And again, just change the background. There we go. And you can do whatever you want. You can you can go online and find pictures. I was gonna get pictures of Petrucci for the Petrucci one and just put them in there. Like, you know, he has the he describes one of his rhythm sounds as like chocolate cake. So maybe you want to put a piece of chocolate cake there. I don't know. Just saying. Um, so that's sick A. And remember, I want to change this one to 1, not 0. However, that's not the way it was listed before. Mackie to DAW. And then this one should be DAW to Mackie. Right, right. We go up here. Program change should be 1. Alright, let's just make sure that everything works. Alright, we're in here. Let's close it. If I hit the button, it doesn't do anything yet. Okay. I'm still playing around here, people. MIDI input devices, no. Alright, let's see. What did I do? Alright, let's go back to Petrucci. I know it's annoying, I have to keep going back and forth. So I'm probably gonna end up making this video again because I suck. All right, what did I do? PC zero. Okay, here. PC zero, yeah, that's right. Channel one. Yeah, that's right, everything's right. All right, what did I do? What did I do? Let's go to settings. You know, or I'll leave it because you know what? I mean, we all have trouble. When we try setting this stuff up, it's never as easy as we want it to be, ever. Okay, this is all the same, that's the same, that's the same. Ah! Okay. Boop, and boop. Okay, that should do it. You gotta click them. They weren't clicked in here before. Alright, whatever. Okay, well, we're good now, so. Let's try it. Let's close this one, because it's confusing. I want to have both open. Let's go back to Gojira. Let's try it. Uh, close that. And click. Nothing. Okay. Ah. Oh, okay. I remember. Now, this one is zero. It's automatic. Mackie to door. This one should be one. Enter. I don't know if that's going to work, but it should work. In theory, it should work, but. I don't think it's working. Oh, there it goes. Okay, sick worked. This one did not. I did not want that work. Program change is zero. That should be correct. Daw to Mackie, Mackie to Daw. This one's channel one. Daw to Mackie, Mackie to Daw. There, let's try it. Hmm, weird. Did this one not work? All right, so we got this is titled correct. It's channel one, and this is zero. If I come in here, MIDI program change number is zero, which is what it should be. All right, we got DAW to Mackie, Mackie to DAW. This is program channel one, DAW to Mackie, Mackie to DAW. Okay, so what's the problem? All right, let's do this. Can I preset? Let's try it again. That one worked, but this one doesn't. 
There's so many. All right, there we go. Rhythm three, channel one, PC zero. All right, let's try it again. So we're on sick. One. All right, there's something not working here. So let's change it to two. Let's see what happens. So we'll move this to two. That may work. Let's try it. Let's try it. That worked. Okay. So that worked. All right. So there we go. Now we'll go back to the rhythm. Okay. So there it is. All the problems aside. <laughs> All right, I'm human, I make mistakes. But this is how we learn. We learn from doing. So I have two channels programmed so far. And now from here on out, it should be easy. It's just getting it set up. Once it's set up, once you figure out what, what you're doing wrong, all that good stuff, uh, it's fixable. So let's add rhythm channel. Well, ooh, let's throw, let's throw in the salt. Well, let's do rhythm channel one first. Yeah, we'll go four, just throw it in there. What the heck? Channel three, we'll go in here. This was JD, uh, let's title it, they have it title, rhythm four, and I will fix the other one. I'll fix the other title as well. Um, there we go. Change the background to same color, boom. All right, it's gonna bother me if I don't fix it, so let's fix it. Sorry, I'm looking around the camera. I have a camera on my desk so you can see the stream deck and apparently watch me type. I apologize, but <laughs> that's, what, that's where we're at. All right, so that worked. All right, we're good there. Channel two, good. This is channel one. This is channel three. Boop, and that should work. Oh, I gotta close this, it's in the way. There we go. Boop, channel four. Yep, okay, we're good. We are good. All right, let's put the... Uh, we can, do, we can do this all day. Just add the, uh, I'm not gonna add that many, although I add the solo, I like that one as well. I'll make that one channel four. I should say note, program channel four. Um, I'll add one more, I'm gonna add a clean one. Program preset. Um, I like the clean, was it December? Yeah, I like the December one, that's pretty cool sounding. And well, this is channel five. All right, so the solo I'll throw down here. Like I said, I like to kind of mix them up. Remember, grab a MIDI program change, pop it in there, and I'll throw the clean one up top here, boop, like that. So this one I'm gonna do is a light color. I like to do the clean channels as, again, you can do this however you wanna do it. It doesn't matter, but this is just how I've been doing it for now. I'll probably change it eventually, and then do the solo as gourd so get the idea. where are you at it's so slow right now all right there we go gold boom done all right and then we'll throw in the silvera solo okay i gotta make it smaller there we go uh, one more all right we're there just change the to four and this one is the, it was clean December, yeah. Clean December. And that was channel five. And again, I'll make the font smaller. Okay. All right. Now, I can close this, Oop, just for now, just to, all right. Well, I didn't mean to close the whole thing. What's up, bro? <laughs> What's going on? Uh, only when I do videos, man. All right, let's reopen the stream deck. It should be open. All right. I don't usually have to have this open. All right, there we go. Ah, it's because I exited the whole program. That's why. But it doesn't usually happen. But here we are. So there it is. Clean December. Boom. Works. Perfect. <laughs> Very 
cool sound. Let's see how that sounds with the piezo. Probably a little too much. Ooh. If I knew what I was playing before I played it. <laughs> Decibel boost. Very cool. So, anyways, there you have it. So, you can use the Stream Deck for multiple things, one of which being programming your guitar plugins, which is kind of cool, actually. Um, is it necessary? Absolutely not, but I love it. Um, again, can do the same thing with the Parallax, which is the bass one. Um, Amplitude, I haven't tried that one yet, but I'm sure it works. I did set these up to open, so I have Easy Drummer 3 in there also. Um, I assume I can make this like a bass drum and a snare drum, because again, it's a MIDI controller. You can do whatever you can think you can do. You can probably figure it out. So if you can think it, you can probably do it. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, as always. I am very grateful. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you. Um, I hope it wasn't frustrating for you as you saw that I did run into some issues. But again, it's just because I haven't done it in um, a couple weeks. So I'm a little rusty. And yeah, it's good to plan out videos before you do them. But I like, to kind of, I like the idea of you're going to go at it the same way I go at it. You're not going to plan what you're going to do before you do it. You're going to try it. And you're going to figure it out. You're going to make mistakes. And then you're going you're gonna to learn from those mistakes. That's what I do. So hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. See you all soon.